Hey, you guys, Live Arm 73 here. I was thinking of something. Um, cutting my grass was a, a hassle. It is a hassle with all my solar panels on the ground. I come to find out that I don't want them on my roof. But at the same time, it can also be troublesome on the ground in your yard. Two reasons. Check it out. Number one, if your panels are set up any kind of way in an angle, you have one big problem. Grass is still growing up under there. It's either growing or it's dying. Either way, weeds are coming out from around it. And you have to cut around your panels, cut your grass, weed whack. So what do you got to do? You got to take your panels up each and every single time. Now, that's okay if you just got two panels like this. But what do you do when you have this many panels and there's still some in the house? What do you do? Okay, I don't even know how many panels I got right now. I think, what is this? Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, 12. I think I got like 16 panels or something like that. What do you do? Okay, well, I'm giving you the answer right now. This year, I was making a small chicken coop for my new chicks. Well, those chicks are big, juicy hens now, and they don't need this anymore. So when I was cutting my grass from over in those two spots, I had to remove the panels so I could cut the grass properly. I said I need to get them off the ground so I can cut this whole area. What do I do? I set them on this chicken coop, and I'll be doggone if they're not almost the exact same size and specs that I made for the chicken coop. I mean, give or take a quarter inch or so. Can you believe that? So I set it up there. I said, oh, my God. My wife thought something got me. I said, no, this just solved my problem. So now, family, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a set of panels across the top, a set of panels across this side to catch the sun going down and a set of panels on this side when the sun is coming up. So I'm gonna get the sun coming up, going over and going down all from this frame. And what's sweet about it is, let me show you this, easy access, easy access to all my wiring. So I don't gotta keep flipping panels up to do my wiring. How dope is this? Would you look at that? I'm telling you, I kept wanting to tear this apart and something said, just hang on a minute. My wife said, you got to move it. You know, it looks pretty rough. I know, I know. It's, it's, I'm going to do it. And I finally cleaning up my yard, about to get rid of it. And look how God worked. You see that? So what I'll be doing now, even though I have a frame for this, that still doesn't stop the weeds from growing up under it. So what I'm going to do is take a piece out of my notebook with my tarps and I'm going to lay a tarp down just like I did my beehives back here. Lay down a tarp and just like I did my containers. Lay a tarp down and then put the frame on it and then run my panels and I won't have a weed problem anymore. So I won't have to worry about cutting the grass in this area no more because no grass is going to grow here as long as that tarp is down and that frame is sitting on top of it. So I think I just scored one. So I'm going to get busy and I'm going to show you what this looks like when I'm done. I got a lot of wiring to do. So let me get at it. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Those burn patterns from my panels is already showing me exactly where I want to do this at. So I'm going to just lay the tarp down right in that same area. And the way I'm configuring this is going to take up less space too. I won't have to worry about that over there anymore. We can even move it back a little actually. Okay, next step is 
moving these panels off this frame and getting this frame over onto the tarp. That might be a little safer. things you do for free energy now I'm not quite sure how I'm going to configure everything so for a minute I'm just going to run I have several power stations so I'm going to run 200 watts to each in parallel until I figure out because I had everything set up and now I forgot everything I did it's going to get power when it comes up when the Sun comes up it's going to get power during the middle of the day and it's going to get power when the sun is going down that's going to be the equivalent of catching the sun at its highest moment where i'm getting the most power because i always have my panels just facing this way so after the sun went straight up i was getting and then when it was going down almost nothing let's get at it So my plans are to just run some brackets on the sides to hold all of these panels in place. And as you can see, our wiring is hanging here so I can do with it as I please with no problem, no flipping, no bending down, none of that creepy crawlers sneaking up and trying to kiss me in the mouth, none of that. Two Renergy panels, two 100 watt Renergies. That's a perfect fit. I'm telling you, God may be making for something. So all four of these are the Renergy panels, 100 watt Renergies. You know, I'm just now thinking of this, but actually, this will also give it a little breezeway to stay cool too. You know, when they close to the ground, they pipe it hot. This will let some air flow up under here. I could probably even take a little bit of the solar power and hook up some kind of fan up under there. I'm thinking too far ahead, so let's keep going. For anybody that keeps their panels on the ground i'm telling you this is going to make it way easier to be messing around with your wires because you know sometimes when you ain't hooking them up right or you're trying to figure out the best configuration you got to keep flipping the panels over and over again look how much easier this is going to be it's like milking a cow you see this no more flipping my panels that is going to be awesome Okay, so what I'm gonna do for my first configuration is I'm gonna run this 600 watts, six of these 100 watt Renergy panels. I'm gonna run those in series. That's how I had it hooked up before. The only difference is I had the Renergy solar panels hooked up in with those and it was doing something kind of weird i wasn't getting all the power i was supposed to get and i think it's because the voltage and the amps is a little different on the rich solar panels so i'm just going to stick with what i know i'm gonna stay on the 100 watt energy panels and i have six of those so i'm going to run those in series right now okay all i gotta do now milk the cow 
come under here my positive into my negative this is going to be the one that runs into the extension now i'm going to run this one this is a positive going into the negative over here this is so much better and i ain't hurting my back okay got that linked up now i'm gonna run the positive into the negative over here so you see me chain link them all the way down now i'm about to come around and hook these two panels into it you can see it looped in series right there so all i'm gonna do now hook these two in series so i already have those and the sprinkler system would cut on it's like a james bond movie hook those in series and now i'm gonna run this wire to this end wire here under this energy boom Easiest case. All six of these panels here. I gotta hurry up before that water come get me. Look at that. All six of these panels, these, those, and those are hooked in series. And I'm gonna run all of those to my uh, Blue Eddy AC 200 P. All I gotta do is hook one to the one that's coming off of here like that and run the other one to the other side to the end down here instant 600 watt juice with no mess. So now we have 600 watts hooked up in series and I'm going to run these 200 watt um, rich solar panels. I'm going to run them parallel for the Jackery. But then again, you know what? I think I'm going to just run these. Uh, I'm going to just keep running these Harbor Freight panels to the Jackery because they've been working out excellent. I, I know everybody hating on the Harbor Freights, but I ain't lying to you. They work great to me. I mean, if you're going to get something online, go ahead and go with the Rich Solar and the Renergy panel. Put it like this. If you're in a hurry and you need them now, there you go. I'm just saying. If you can't wait till your Rich Solar or your Renergy panels come in, you know, Harbor Freight is around the corner anywhere USA, so... I'm loving them. I don't care what nobody say. Yeah, they ain't the greatest. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, they don't come with MC4 connectors. They don't. And that's that's a that's a fail in my book. But as you see, I, I made short work of that. And I made my own uh, MC4 connectors. Boom. No worries. So anyway, there you go, you guys. So these are already hooked up. So I'm going to just go ahead and just hook up these two rich solar panels to my other wire. So I'm going to run that right inside here. Just run that wire up under the, the frame. Be good to go. Okay, so this is the results of my new setup. I'm bringing in 400, it was just at close to 500 watts and it's only like 11 o'clock right now. So the sun is still down over here on the EB, I mean the AC 150, I'm bringing in 147. The sun is looking pretty good and that's my new setup out there. Let me see if I can get a better view of that. I'm, I'm still gonna neaten it up. I still gotta get more, uh, tarps under it but right now i'm just experimenting to make sure everything is aligned right but i'm i'm bringing in i was just getting 146 watts on my bougie v 716 so that was that was rocking i'm bringing in a full 85 watts you know on different panels on your jackery 500 
you can only bring it will only allow you to bring in uh, 85 watts let me cut that dc off that's that one watt right there so everything is rolling and as you can see i got two harbor freight panels on here on the ecoflow 600 and it's just about done that's why it's it's rolling so slow it was rolling but that's it you guys it's working and i'm gonna go out here and now tighten up everything and make it look good and get everything where i want it to be so i'm i'm liking what's happening right now that frame is everything just wanted to give you a close-up of the finished product as you can see i got everything set up right where the sun is i had to move these out a little bit because when the sun finally comes over it's a shadow right there so i pulled these out a little bit and it was working these are my harbor freight panels i got two of them in parallel so when the sun is going down this panel gets a little bit more juice by the end of the day and on this side this panel which i need one more panel to go over here but that's my 50 watt uh hqst panel right here it's only 50 watts but until i get another panel to get sit here i'm going to use this but this is the system everything was set up and working excellent and all my wiring is clean and reachable if worse come to worse i can slide right under there and do any business i need to do only deal I'm going to do now is put more tarps out here so I don't ever have to deal with worrying about the grass. I want the tarp to come out to here all the way around. So I'm going to need about two or three more tarps. I'm telling you, family, that's the last thing you want to be worried about if you're putting your solar on the ground. You do not want to be worried about picking grass up i mean cutting your grass and dealing with weeds and everything is just like everything else you want to have this weed and grass free this ain't nowhere you want to be weed whacking you don't want to hit one of your panels so if you don't want to hit one of your panels you got to move it and it's just it's just a hassle so i'm going to completely get get this all tarped up i got it set up for now and i also want to put some brackets around it so they don't fly off in a high wind trust me it, that can happen so i just wanted to show you guys how i got it set up i hope this works out for you i hope it give you some kind of ideas my setup might not work for you but i hope it at least give you a few ideas where you can start working on you some kind of setup because i know a lot of us got our panels on the ground uh versus the roof and this is the way i like it i have plenty of room to work and walk around and i don't have to worry about knowing where my wires are because I got them all straightened out right here where before they was like spaghetti. It was all around my, my yard. But now I got one, one little highway of wires right here. That's it. And that's going to everything. That's how I want it. I wanted to neaten up my system. First I wanted to figure it out. Then I wanted to neaten it up. But I'm making this longer than it got to be. So everybody, thank you for watching. I'm trying to watch my step here. Ooh, I'm about to back into the garden. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope this helps you. All right, Leo Farmer 73, I love you. Power up, and I'm out.